Welcome back, everyone, to Aether Eternia's Stark Side of the Foundry. Sorry for the late start, but some folks had some uh, family obligations, which is perfectly fine. But to recap what happened last time, you guys finally started kind of snooping around uh, over the hedge and trying to make your way forward. Eventually, you would find yourself in the storage room where you found barrels of highly corrosive and potent acid. What was Auntie doing with that stuff? Probably best not to ask questions. <laughs> Who knows? It might have been used for a drink or a cleaning solution. Who's to say? But you did find that it was incredibly potent on the plants. More specifically, it burned one of the larger bulbs that was blocking the stairway up enough to basically have it open up and decide to start attacking you because you pissed it off. You quickly dispatched it with minimal injury before heading upstairs where it was a little bit easier to move around. However, upon reaching the second floor, you started hearing a bizarre tomb, a music box. It was a little distorted, a little broken, but eventually you stumbled upon a, most, uh, a room that's been mostly in disarray. There was a massive tree growing over what looked to be the glowing gateway to Wonderland, with a massive bulb sleeping among the roots with the music box right next to it. After some shenanigans, Frias was able to dart in, grab the music box, and get out, but not without waking the plant up. <laughs> you guys closed the door, held the plant back as it tried to bash open the door, while Luminosa took a better look at the music box. At the very least, you were able to discern that, one, the music box is familiar to Luminosa, especially the tune. And two, it held the seal of the Fey royal family. Very curious. However, the plant was not about to be held back for very long. As uh, it continued to bash against the door, Bellua decided to take charge and bash the door back. <laughs> flinging, the door, flinging the door back into the plant's face, quote-unquote, before you guys began the battle. The battle started, and uh, let's just say you guys are basically fighting up a mountain right now. You've gotten most of itself down to the, about, a, I think, a fourth. A fourth. Yes. So you've done some decent damage. But we're back at the top of the order with Tibbs. Tibbs, more of these little tiny plants have spawned in behind you. One of them seems to be remaining, and it's kind of using its weird plant-like spider roost to come at you. Several of your friends are in the room face-to-face -face with the giant creature. And, uh, this uh, doesn't seem to be going too well. No, I believe we ended with Tips actually finishing the turn. It was the summon Freddy that I named that, that hadn't had a turn yet. Yeah. I believe you have control over that. Yeah. We're gonna go and do a pop attack. Okay. Uh, let me pull that up. Mm -hmm. Nasty thing. Mm -hmm. Roll 20 doesn't exactly have an easy way of grabbing that particular spell. Yeah. Does it have a specific uh, roll that I need to make for the plant creature, or is it just hit? It's an attack roll, and then it's two attack rolls. Okay, so I guess go ahead and roll them. I mean, no, at least from what you've. It's oh. plus nine. It's I'm trying to remember the, what the roll is, but I know that the the attack is plus nine. So, mm -hmm. as a at least from what you remember, these things are pretty brittle. That'll hit. Now the damage, I think is two d eight. Let me just scroll up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Freddy. Hey, <sighs> come on, brain. <laughs> it's all right. That's just enough to kill the damn thing. Yeah. As a, this shambling creature just comes up to it and just slams one of its tendrils and just this plant goes squish. And that's the end of the turn. Okay. Which brings us to Freyus, who their player realized that the, they were gimping themselves unknowingly. <laughs> so, uh, Freyus, hey, I'm calling you out. I've done it too. I've always forgotten that I had double attacks as a paladin. 
Uh, so I'm going to pop this at this level so that it gives mm. more dice. Healing spirit! Alright. And is it? We'll use. <clears throat> Let's take a look here. Oh, starts on their turn. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can do that. I was wondering if it's on the end of my turn, the end of the player's turn, or the start. It's, it's the start. It's the start of uh, the player's turn. So I'm just looking for a token we can use. You know what? Screw it. You're gonna get your own mimic baby. <gasps> Yay! Cool. Because until I make something specific for these, I need to get around doing that. But you should be able to control it. Okay. And I'm casting it at 5th level, so it does 3d6. Where's the healing? Alright. And it's going to start right on top of Luminosa, because I know they have already taken damage. Mm -hmm. And Luminosa, you see a little flash of magic as this little healing spirit appears uh, right next to your feet. Woo! It's a cute little thing. Hooray! <laughs> And that's a bonus action. The only thing I have in action is I'm not going to do anything. So that is the end of my turn. She'll just really? stand there and give Tibbs a thumbs up or something. I don't know. Well, it's Big Bertha's turn, and the Big Bertha is going to carry out its legendary action, and it lets out another bellowing roar as two more plants crawl out into the hallway. Gosh darn it. All before it turns its attention to Bellua, and it's uh it's gonna try to bite at him. So it's 18 hit. It meets it beats. Oh I got it. Give me a second. Ooh, you got something. Shelby, you okay? What happened? Oh no, Boofer. Oh no, Boofer! She wasn't supposed to. They don't worry about Shelly Beans. Uh oh. Pupper. Pupper okay? Yeah, she just threw up a bit. Oh no. Oh, she ate something she oh dear. Value of this thing lunges forward and takes a nice hearty bite Shelby. into your arm. But it's not quite done yet. It's going to try to rear back its head and take you with it. Does a nine. Does a nine what? Hit. <laughs> no. <laughs> so yeah, before you, uh, Bellua realizes what it's doing, it's trying to rear its head back to try to slam Bellua onto the ground, and Bellua is having none of it. Yanks his arm from its maw. It's its turn. Yeah. <laughs> Does the Guardian do anything else? Or does it just stand there, by the way? Um, the Spirit Guardian only acts if the creature moves into its okay. space. Okay. Are you gonna- can you move it at all, or are you gonna- It can't move, no. Okay, okay. Good to know. Oh, baby. However, it lasts eight hours. So oh, Jesus! <laughs> okay, that's gonna be sitting there for a while. <laughs> Okay! <laughs> Good to know. I was about to ask how long it lasted. Alright, Rose, it's your turn. Uh, you saw this thing take a chunk out of Bellua. Yeah, and Rose is done playing around this point. Oh. Looks. Kind of does some quick glances over to Luminosa um, at their side and down the way to free us. Okay. That's it. We need to hit the scene hard. We need to hit it fast. Um, with that, Rose is going to whip off their blazer. Uh, is going to grab the five bottles of acid that they are carrying. Hey, going, all right. It's going to roll them up in the blazer, kind of fold over itself, tie the sleeves off together, so okay. now they're all contained inside it. All right. And this trying to. And survey is the the field ahead. Mm. 
Um, I guess a question I have now is uh-huh. how how far would Rose be able to throw this bundle of acid files? I'd say, since I want to reward your creativity, it would need to be an improvised weapon throw, and I'll give you advantage on it for the idea. Also, because rip the blazer, uh, blazer if this works. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it would definitely be an improvised weapon throw so put your decks into it alright uh, Rose presses himself up against the wall and just tensing up for a moment will spring off and then almost like kind of like almost like a discus throw style is going to spin himself around and just try to keel okay. haul this, uh, this bundle of vials at the Across the field to the plant. Okay. So give me a roll. Well, technically two for advantage. All right. So it's uh, just D20 plus dex. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. I gotta go back to my sheet. Well, my dex is zero, so this will be great. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. First one. Mm. That's a great Rip the blazer. <laughs> um, wait, <laughs> wait, wait. Well, I have inspiration. Does that oh! help me here? If you want to use inspiration to give yourself another roll, then I would say go for it. I'm doing it. I'm pressing my luck. <sighs> there we go! Me! Woohoo! I'd say it is a little bit less than its AC, but considering what you're trying to do, it's more of a case of trying to get it into its general direction. You kind of put yourself, do a spin, and throw the bundle at Big Bertha. And it doesn't hit the main body directly, but it hits the uh, sort of the base stem around its neck. And you just see the uh, brazier just erupt as you hear bottles shattering. Glass shattering as just acid spews everywhere. How many bottles were it? Was was it again? Five. So do uh, roll me five of I believe it was. How much damage was it again? That I gave uh, it? Hold on, it was three d six for one bottle. So five roll five three d sixes. Right. It's fifteen d six. Yeah. Okay, we'll one. just we'll just add all for simplicity's sake. 15d6, yeah. Oh! oh my God. <laughs> There's only three ones in that. And three sixes. God damn! Damn! <laughs> it was a good spread. That's really good. And as this happens, the acid starts, and the best part is it takes double damage from this too. It's acid. <laughs> so. Eight, three. I gotta do math. That's 110. Holy! So, enjoy. Watch its health bar real quick. <laughs> oh, good. It's not as half yet. But, as the acid eats away through, like, the base stem that it was connected to, you see it almost flop to the ground. And it is now knocked prone. Huh. Which means. Yeah, it is now knocked prone. It's disconnected yes. from its stump. I need to find it. Prone to plant. There you go. Rip and tear. There we go. Suck it down, you feet for place. <laughs> yeah, that's that was a big chunk of damage there, Rose. And now it's prone on the ground. But now you don't have uh, a blazer anymore. So that that definitely got evaporated with the acid. <laughs> so I can get F's in chat for the blazer. <laughs> Just F's. <laughs> no worthy sacrifice though. That was a lot of damage. <laughs> we'll but, always remember you, Blazer. Yeah. A better question.
question is, uh, did Rose create the the, uh, the blazer from their own energy, or was that an actual physical piece of clothing? I'm sure we'll find out in time. We'll find out. Uh, do you have anything else for this turn? Because I believe that took your action. Oh, yeah. Uh, since it's prone... Drone. Uh, yeah, spiritual weapon's going to press the advantage. Give no quarter. Give it. Get it! And this is going to be what advantage since it's prone. Oh, spiritual weapon... Are you saying that you're going to put the pedal to the metal? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, that's gonna hit. Give me the damage. See, when you say a pun, the damage comes through. <sighs> Emotional damage. <laughs> so that's 12. Emotional damage. Yep, 12 total. Nice. It's almost at half health. But Anything else you'd like to do? Oh, wait. Huzzah! <laughs> uh, no, that will... That will... That will be sufficient for now. <laughs> Belly, well, you just saw Rose huck their blazer, basically like a bomb, and just see the acid just erode at this thing and just boom onto the ground. It's kind of flailing around like how a fish would out of water. Mm -hmm. Well, Belly was not going to waste any time. And is going to pay back that bite. Alright. Now, since it's prone, does that mean it's at advantage? Since you're uh, in melee, yep. Cool! Yeah, it's gonna hit! That's gonna okay, hit! So Are you sure? Okay, so there, and then bonus claw. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna go with that one. Okay. Yeah. And then rip and tear. Oh. Rip and tear. Hole. Holy <laughs> cow! So that's uh, let's see, that's fourteen plus thirteen and plus twelve plus nineteen. Once again, watch its HP. <laughs> Chased it. Bell, you are, you are livid at this thing. This thing bit you on the arm. That hurt. It tried to take a chunk out of you and thrill you around. And you just start ripping into this thing. Like, because it's flailing. It's sitting there. It is like a sitting duck. He, he basically lands on it and is starting to just rip into it. Mm -hmm. And digging his claws in and bellowing as he's doing this. Now, does Belua end his turn there? Well, he's not on the floor. Okay, good. As long as he's not on the floor, he doesn't take damage from the thorns on the ground. Yes. Okay, cool. So Let me that... You just uh, witnessed this thing just get shredded. It, like, Belia was pissed off. Rose hooked an acid bomb at it. And now uh, you also get healed for nine points of, dam uh, nine points of uh, your HP because of the little friendly spirit next to you. I get up with an iron point? Sweet. Ooh. I have a question. How the Christ do we make it so the dark mode doesn't have gray on gray text? I don't know. That is terrible. Yeah, I 100% agree. I have no <laughs> idea. I'm looking at this, I'm like, well, it should be simple. Just go up here and text chat options. Click at no choice to change the color. Okay? You're awesome. So I can't read a goddamn thing in the dark mode. Also, how long did the uh, area of effect the tendrils that you put down last, uh, Tibbs, this year? Minute each. No concentration needed because it pretty much kills anything that touches it. Okay, cool. Hopefully Varys doesn't need to step forward. <laughs> Well, you guys chunked it real real good that turn. Holy moly. See, the dice are on your side for once. Shh, shh, shh. You dinked it, Don't worry, don't worry. Oh. Knock on wood. No, I think it's your turn. It's because, it's because Nova wants a uh, shorter session tonight. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, 30 minute session. All right, guys, have a good weekend. Yeah, <laughs> hey, Don't we can play. You, you've got you've got sealed hope ready, right? <laughs> I mean, after this, I will need about I'd say a couple weeks to prepare Wonderland. So, uh, yeah, sealed hope uh, will be the next AE session, technically, if that's okay oh, with you, yeah. Chippy. You're up next. I'm good as long as it's fine with Jin. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Enjoy. Uh, plus, uh, are are you wanting to be next week? Do you want everyone to be next week? Uh, we'll discuss you. that after session, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, well, sorry. Oh, is it my turn? Yes, it's your turn. Yeah, it's... Yeah. That's why you... I'm gonna stab it! That's why you got healing. <laughs> Go stab we're, it! We're a little burnt from the, the birthday party it thing. The birthday party, That's there was cake and it was delicious. Wait, what? Put... Oh, I'm putting yeah. Bellua in its square so that way I know it's on top of it. Uh... We're putting Bellua in the box. Perfect. <laughs> Angie box. Yeah, so, basically this round is basically an all out attack. Can I, can I am or are I going to move in? I think you have to move in. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to have to step in. Just don't go... Th don't go what? I, no. I I can... I can... Th let me double check, but I'm pretty sure with that spell, I can... It's the creatures you choose, I believe, was the readout last yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah, so... I can move in there. Do you choose to hit Lum Luminosa? <laughs> <laughs> My long-term plan has come to <laughs> The long oh, game no. is finally afoot. Oh no. Any creature hostile to you. So is Luminosa hostile to me? Uh, as well, long as you don't attack me first, I won't be hostile. Is it remember, no? remember it's an advantage, so roll again to see if you get a nat 20. Never hurts. No, okay, 23 hits. Nice! Roll again. Just 18 hit? Roll again for advantage. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 18, 18 meets a beat, so go ahead. Wait. Woo! Take more damage! Nice! Darius is going to, to shout over. Move back! <laughs> or move back! Like that? I think that'll work. And you, are you ending your turn in the aura? All right. Yeah, ah! <laughs> I ran <laughs> slap yeah, it and run away. Yeah. Slap yeah. and run away. Hey, it works. If it works, it works. Hit run, baby. Hit run. <laughs> so, Varys, why'd you tell uh, Luminosa to back off? What's happening? Well, um, first I want to ask... Is the what's the ruling on? Well, I guess it's just the spell I want to use is uh, okay. Well, uh, if I can see it, there we go. Let me double check. Yeah, ah, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh oh, uh oh, what is so, happening? He's going to splay his hands. And is going to let me just double check that I can do this without. I'm sorry if your your spiritual weapon has a yeah. If your spiritual weapon has a hit, hit thing, it's gonna have to make a dex save. But it's it it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't think an, it can actually be targeted by anything, as far as I know. Okay, it can be attacked. Good. It, it can be attacked. May die, that is the sacrifice I am willing to make. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna cast... Oh, let me see what it does at higher... Uh, at higher levels when you cast this... Da -da -da. And so... So we're gonna do this at level 5. So that's 2 extra. Ooh. Okay, so... Yeah, uh... So we're gonna... Oh. Plus one second. Uh, so nine plus... So... It fails! So that is 
35 lightning damage. Oh! Hey, you guys and you just see this this crackling line of lightning just smash past smash into it and past it. There's a it's definitely a little charred and singed around the edges. You see little bolts of electricity crackling between its like open maw and teeth as it's flailing, twitching on the ground. It's, uh, it's definitely hurting! Holy shit! Dolphin. We decided we didn't want another impure encounter. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. You guys are rolling real good. <laughs> Zibs. Uh, a couple more plants have come in behind you, but as you kind of look into okay. the very much smashed open door, this thing's on the ground, it's flailing around. Belia was on top of it, thrashing into the damn thing. Uh, oh, Luminosa is uh, hitting and running. Yeah, that, that makes sense. And no one's looking my way except for the one who's already seen me do horrible, horrible things with madness, right? Yeah, Correct. It's fine. It's fine. Good. Dad's paying all that friggin' child support now. <laughs> Ooh. Doing it again, so even more of the madness. It must be the plant doing it. Yes, the plant. And just move that square on top of it. It actually encompasses its entire hitbox. Yeah. So that's uh, that I'm going to do. I can't do a spell turning with that, but I can do two spells. Mm -hmm. uh, quick and spell. It'll cost me one of my did, 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 sorcery points or two of them. Wait, I just want to make sure here. Ah, bah, 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 bah. Quicken spell makes it into a bonus action. Yeah, so I will use a quicken spell to drop that. Two sorcery points. So I'm down to one, and then I am going to follow up with yet another spell. This time it has to be a cantrip, so it's going to be actually I can do whatever I want. But I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast at level two. Okay. Remember, it's prone, so advantage. So, advantage, roll from 20, it's 9. And just in case, uh -huh. I mean, it's a spell, so. Yeah, 21's gonna hit. Yeah, so, at level 2, it becomes 3d10. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, I can't actually bring it up, so. It's just gonna be the basic 1d10. Oh. It's only on levels of the Warlock. Ah, but nine damage is nice. Nine's still nine. That's not bad. Real fun is if it gets restrained by the tentacles, because then it doesn't get up. Yeah, and it's going to try to spend its turn getting up. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty obvious. Uh, anything else you would like to do? Um, take one step towards Freyus and say not a word to anyone about what you saw. Ooh. Then it's Freddy's turn. What is uh, what is your little friend gonna do? Beep. Oh. I Nothing looked up skitters. the damage. It's actually one d eight plus seven. Okay. Still needs to hit him. <laughs> That's gonna hit. And it gets two attacks. Oh, oh, God. oh, 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 oh boy. <laughs> well, that hit. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. nom. <laughs> So the minimum damage is, um, I think, eight, and I'm pretty sure they have left less than eight HP. So they should probably just go. Yeah, uh, I'd say that for flavor, it's not so much that they just get popped. This thing just opens this inconceivable maw and just consumes them both. Here's a look at go. Here's a look at the monster and back to phrase. Not one word. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make a token for this horrible thing one of these days, because... <laughs> Speaking of Freyus... <laughs> Speaking of Freyus... Freyus does look... does look at what... what fun things are going on with Tiberius and just gives a nod before moving this guy over here on top of Belua and ending her turn because it's when they start, so... 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll give Bellua some healing next time they go. Like Bertha is starting its turn in that square. Oh god, the haste is counting down. It is gonna fail that deck save! And fail it bad. Oh, that's so damage, then. 3d6? Uh, I believe it's 3d6. Uh, Tentacles ta- takes... It is... Creature starts its turn in the area and is already restrained. Creature enters the affected area for the first time and turn takes to turn its turn and take bludgeoning damage and be restrained. So, uh... No, no damage this turn. It just... Yeah, it just restrained. So... Uh, let me paint the picture for you. You see the tendrils of the tree are trying to reattach to the plant, kind of trying to lift it back up, but just as it starts to try to do this, the shadowy tendrils start to wrap around and almost pull the bulb to the ground to stop it from flailing, disconnecting the, te- the tendril, so it's not able to get up this round. So instead, it's just going to flail around, which means anything within five feet of it is going to get hit if it hits. It can use its t- action on its turn to try and break it. It's flailing. <laughs> it's oh. not very smart. It's a, a plant. Does a 13 hit, Ybelua? Huh? Does a 13 hit? No. Does an 8 hit? No. Alright. That's Big Bertha's turn. It cannot use its legendary action while it is essentially disconnected from its tree. Yay! Ooh. Gross! This thing is basically being uh, pinned down by shadow tendrils and is trying to flail around. Learning not to get smashed the way Suga did. God damn it. <laughs> um, so a quick so a quick question. If anyone is standing like a j- right next to Big Bertha, are they also getting hit by the tendrils? They have to be in the square. They have to be in the square, god. And it's... that's Big Bertha's entire hitbox. <laughs> Literally. And, and, and Bellu is flying, so. Bellia was technically on top of it. <laughs> so just out of range, I'd say. Alright, well... Since this thing's still down... You know, Rose is going to rush right in. Arm goes black when the crack energy and is going to just try to slam and inflict wounds into it. Okay. Hurt, damn oh. you, hurt! So let's lead. Mm, one more time. It is prone. It is prone. Exactly. There we go. And I'm casting this at fourth level. Nice. Very good. Now, unlike the bulb that was on the stairs, this one isn't made from a lot of sinewy flesh. This one is a bit more plant-like. It still will take a few points of increased damage, so roll me an extra 1d8. Mm-hmm. Oh. <sighs> it's still 19 damage, that's not bad. Oh, it's, well, it's 9, yeah, it's still, well, it did 18 plus 18 plus 1. Yeah. So. So let me add that all up. This thing is starting to leak blue blue and black fluid kind of all over the ground. It looks busted up. It's wilting a little bit. And uh, the stem it was attached to is just bleeding out. It's uh, it's in rough shape. Real rough shape. You may want to get out of there. That's right. Do you hmm. want to end your turn in that square? Uh, no. Rose is going to backpedal there. Okay. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And Rose, you kind of look back where you were standing, and you see that the thorns had risen up, trying to pierce you <laughs> as you left. <laughs> Anything else you want to do? Burn this fucker to the ground now. Don't want to do anything with your weapon? Oh yeah, that thing's still there. <laughs> I was, I was sitting there waiting for it. It's like, do you have a bonus action? Do you have a weapon on the field? I I think I got distracted by the fact that I, I thought I was going to get vaporized by the lightning bolt. <laughs> yeah, it was a good lightning bolt. Alright, but yes. Uh, two, two swings. 18 will hit. Meets a beats. E. It's 10. Not bad. Alright. 
It's a little bit of damage, but it's chipping away at it. Bellua, this thing tried to get up, and it got back down again, and now you're sitting there standing on top of it like the king of the mountain. Well, it's uh, time to do what we do best. Rip and tear? <laughs> so it's time. Also add your health. Oh. Yay! Oh, that's right. Bellua started their turn in the, with the healing spirit. Uh, where is my calculator? Because I am bad at math. Same. That's why I have a calculator on my head screen. <laughs> this, I'm this, being this, a cleric. This guy has a lot of health. <laughs> okay. So. Oh! I, I will take that. If you don't want to roll again, maybe you can get a double crit. Is there even such a thing? <laughs> I've seen it. But, uh, bonus claw? That'll hit. And then, just for... Yeah, that's definitely gonna hit. You almost had another one. Jesus. And then, Ripinter. because they both hit? The thing so... is just barely hanging on as you begin shredding it, peeling off its leaves off. You kind of pull its upper lip off and chuck it to the side, Bellua. It's, it's you, still moving. You all out there probably are hearing just feral howling <laughs> and ripping noises. Why do I picture Varys just standing there with, the, with this stare into the void looking like, good. Essentially, <laughs> Varys has gotten very, very hurt. Yeah. Yeah, he probably has. Luminosa, this thing is barely clinging to life as Bellio is just tearing into it. So it's a little scary. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kind of watching being like, I'm glad that thing is on our side. I guess, <laughs> yeah. Because that is horrifying on many, many levels. <laughs> so Big I'm angry. To move in and hit it again. All right, zoom. Zoom and smack. Oh, is it only when you start your turn? I'm going to look that up real quick. 19 hits. Oh, it also counts if they move into the square on the first time. So let me roll for some more health for Luminosa. There, I have 10 more points of health. But my health is full. <laughs> Too bad you get 10 more. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, you got one more attack, Luminosa. Ten does not hit. Mm. Isn't it still technically prone? It is. She rolled. She rolled twice. It's two tens. Oh, I thought. Yeah, it was I thought bad. That Luminosa got two attacks. She did. But uh, now you were you're kind of ready, willing, ready to kind of rear back and stab this thing one last time. But uh, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, you're like. I you just saw, you start seeing the thorns starting to rise up on your feet, and you're like, oh shit, no! <laughs> there is, this thing is still struggling, flailing on the ground. It's bleeding out. It it looks rough. It's a little bit of a harder target from range, so... Let's see. I know which one I want to do, I just want to see if I have any more slots that are a little higher. I do. And so to do that, that would be... Okay. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and just... And mm -hmm. it's... Let's see, how many darts is it at base? Uh, three. Okay, so that... Since I'm casting it at one level higher, that's one extra dart, so... Mm -hmm. um. How would you like to do this, Various? Please. How do you want to do this? Hold on, let me move it up just so I can get rid of this. He takes aim. <laughs> And uses his, uh, uses, I'm not gonna risk it, 
and you just see him and as each bolt pierces into this creature you see it start chunking off pieces of it. Bellywood takes to the air to get away from as as uh, the plant's chunks are just starting to fly everywhere and just after one blast after another it just uh, it's like the ending scene from Men in Black 2 where you see the big giant plant monster just the chunks are flying off before it just slams to the ground flat. You beat it! Big Bertha Woo! is dead. We're out of turn order now. Freddy's gone. <laughs> what about a group? the group of tentacles behind us? I can't unsummon those. <laughs> yeah, those are... Hmm. Only one monstrosity at a time? I can... I can send that thing back. I can't send those things. They have to stay there for a and minute. Let's go home. As Big Bertha breathes its final breath, you see the thorns on the ground begin to wither and rot away. Many of the bulbs that you see up in the hallway as well begin to wither and die. The tree is still there, but it's looking more brittle, cracked, as if it's drying out. Seems killing this massive thing is also killing the rest of the plant life. You won! Woo! Okay, I'm finding some tavern. To be we, to fair, we, we all saw the, the horrible black tentacles in here, too. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, but that could I don't know anything. where they came from. That could even I, been a boat. Slowly looks at the only person who has any ties to Elder Gods. There's some you have no put on. Damn it, various. Wow. wow! I see how it is. I mean, you do have an, a pretty large abomination just punching and ripping a flower open. Ripping yeah. there. The tendrils mean nothing to me. I just watched Bella eat that thing seven ways from Sunday. <laughs> yeah, it is. You have a big, giant, torn apart plant corpse on the ground now. Velua grabs one of the petals and just starts gnawing on it, looking at the rest of you. <laughs> oh my uh, god! <laughs> uh, I'd say, uh, actually, give me a con save, Velua. Oh no, it was a mistake. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh good, the poison's kicking in. He chews on the plant. <laughs> <and scares it. laughs> Yeah, Rose, you have at least some minor knowledge. Both you and uh, both you and Luminosa have some basic uh, knowledge of fey plants. Uh, most of them tend to have a what is the term for it? Uh, hallucinogenic, <laughs> hallucinogenic properties. And you're literally just seeing Bellua making eye contact with you while eating one. <laughs> yeah, he's just eating it in front of you. I'm just gonna take a few steps back. <laughs> Rose says, absolutely no raisin. Rose has already actually took a couple. Rose took a couple steps back already as Big Bertha was dying and has already like, kind of like slumped against the into a same position uh, with her back to the wall, just trying to catch a breather. And you've got, like, sticky blue and black sap, basically, flooding onto the ground. Um, is, there, is everyone alright? Various Ooh. is gonna look back into the hole. Are you all right? Looking at the field of, of tentacles? Fine, Every perfectly fine, right? Everything's good. It's fine. No, no. I was. I heard noises back here. You see, there's, there's a just bunch a, of a tiny plants. Yeah, you see a bunch of tiny plant corpses just kind of strewn about the hallway. 
Uh, Tibbs is not going to look back and just call over his shoulder. We're fine. It took care of everything back here. Freys did a good job. Some look half eaten. <laughs> um. And I believe there's still a big old wall of shadow over here, just in the hall. This shirt's fine. This shirt's fine. Something. <laughs> They're just whispering madness in there. It's fine. It's fine. But yeah, Tibbs is going to cast uh, a minor illusion over himself to make his <laughs> eyes look normal. Yeah, sure. You can do that. That's no problem. Uh, for as you see, as he casts a spell, his eyes do return to a normal appearance. I will oh, say this there's right ghost now, train. Tibbs, I will say this right now, Tibbs. That is now a permanent feature. Oh, joy! Yeah. It's just another little thing to add to you. Oh, lost the, the magenta eyes, and now they're just void orbs. Hmm. <laughs> That's fine. Not horrifying at all. Fine. I mean, it's it's pretty on par for, for rabbits. Oh, Ghost Train. Yeah, Ghost Train is uh, very good at arriving to D&D on time. It is. Quick, use Phoenix down. While this is going on, Rose will swivel their head up to look at Luminosa. Did you ever have to deal with huge hunking plants like this back in your day? Nope. That was other people's jobs. God damn it. Yep. That was uh, usually the help or the guard's jobs. Not yours. Yeah. Oh, oh I... does Belly have any more health to heal? Uh, yes. Uh, should I just roll how many times I have left for uh, the care? Oh, they have like nine turns left. What's so nine times off? six. I'm, I'm just going to say this one ran on Luminosa. I know this was Auntie's bar and all, but no, no robots on the tablet. if any of these goddamn things show up in the Feywild, I'm going full score shirt policy. Tibbs, your ears are still white. It was just your eyes. One second. Mm -hmm. And Noah, should I just roll nine more times for uh, yeah, healing spirit? Yeah. All right, there's... And just tell me when uh, Belly was full health. One <laughs> second. Calculator. That's, uh... Let's see, so that's... Not yet. Not yet. We're back. Oh, no. <laughs> We're back. Just one of the children's. Mm -hmm. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> oh my god, how much health did Belia lose? Getting close, but not yet. Jesus! <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Freaking tank. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, uh, I guess it'll fly over to Rose, and then... Rose, do you need some health? Uh, yeah, I still need a little bit here. Oh, really? That is the yeah, that's still tonight. not quite all the way there. How about now? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm good. What about you, Various? He's about half health. <laughs> well, then you get the last roll. Yay! Get a nice summoned creature hug before it goes poof! poof. Get gone. Oh my god. Oh All no, right, I died. think. Alright, I think uh, Quintia might have been wet away just a little bit ago. Um. But yeah, Rose does respond back to Luminosa. All right, I know this was Auntie's bar and all, so I was trying to, uh, trying to avoid flaring up too much. But if one of these goddamn themes shows up in Wonderland, I'm going full Earth Scorcher policy. 
So you're going to not wear a shirt then? Gives the most deadpan look to Luminosa. <laughs> what? It was a legitimate question. <sighs> so, uh, do you mind if we take a quick break right now? Because I need to eat dinner. Mm -hmm. Or do you want to role play for a bit? It's up to you. Go and eat your dinner. All right. So I'll be right back. Okay. Oui. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. False. False. <laughs> 